I can confirm that there's been a, a barbaric a terrorist attack, a, a, what looks like a series of attacks in uh, Kabul on, on the airport, of the crowds at the airport in which members of the US military very sadly have lost their lives and uh, many Afghan uh, casualties as well. And we extend our condolences both to the United States of America and uh, to the people of Afghanistan. And I, look, I want to stress that uh, this threat of a terrorist attack is uh, one of the constraints that we've been operating under in uh, Operation Pitting, in, in the, the big extraction that's been, uh, that's been going on. And uh, we've been ready for it, we've been prepared for it. And I want to stress that uh, we're going to continue uh, with that operation. And uh, we're now coming to, towards the, the end of it, to the very end of it, uh, in any event, and we've already extracted uh, the overwhelming majority of, of those uh, under under both the schemes, the, the eligible persons, the UK persons, uh, UK nationals, plus the, uh, the Afghans, the interpreters, uh, and others. And it's been a totally a phenomenal effort by the UK. There's been nothing like it uh, for decades and, uh, and decades. Um, but clearly uh, what this attack shows is the importance of uh, continuing that work in as fast and uh, as efficient a manner as possible in the hours that, uh, that remain to us, and that, that's what we're going to do.